Hello, friends. Well, I'm sure most of you already saw where last night's video about the black custom was going to end up. So here it is. Four guitar shootout happens today. 57 Goldie, 59 Black Custom, 58 Burst, 69 Custom. I just put all these guitars on a stand so they'll all be ready to go. But here's what I noticed. Look at this. Look how much less pitch the headstock on the 69 has. Hmm. I never even thought about that. Fascinating. All right, let's get the work. Okay, homeschoolers. It's Larry. Uncle Larry. Beautiful Sunday. Sunny downtown Nashville, Tennessee. God, it's just a beautiful day here. Uh, I was out on the boat. A friend of mine's boat with Marshall this morning fishing. A guy named Brian, a uh, dear friend of ours. And we didn't catch nothing, but we had a good time. I got a little white sunscreen left on my face here. So if I'm looking a little pale, it's from sunscreen. But um, friends, uh, I got a rack of guitars here that's definitely worthy of doing a fun shootout. Um, again, keep in mind, this is all iPhone. It's really silly to begin with. But maybe we'll get some idea. I mean, it's. I wish y'all could be here in the room where you can really hear this shit. But it's still fun to just hear them all, right? I mean, don't get too caught up in the fact that it's just an iPhone. I mean, we could all be wrong. So uh, I'm going to start with a, an order of age. We'll call it tenure. Uh, I got a 57 gold top here, 58 burst, 59 triple pickup custom, and a 69 custom. I wish I had a new one here to throw into the mix too, but I don't. Uh, but boy, that'd be fun if we did. Uh, I thought about calling a friend that might have one, but uh, I don't have one. But but let's just do these old ones for now. Uh, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna try to play something very similar on all four guitars. I'm playing through a Princeton reverb. I got a couple pedals on. Big big jam distortion. Uh, John Shanks. Uh, Vemi Ram overdrive barely cracked on. A little bit of slap back. You got the amp pointed right at the at the phone speaker. Okay, or the phone the phone mic. Bridge pickup. Oh, we'll do we'll do bridge pickups on all four guitars first, okay? <laughs> Seven gold top. Here is a 58 burst. The Larry burst, we like to call it. Same thing. Black booty. Okay, bridge pickup.
I'm trying to play the same thing on all these guitars, but it won't let me. They won't let me. All right, here's the 69 Custom. Okay. Check out this. Okay, now, just so we all don't listen with our eyes, I'm going to, guitar players are famous for listening with their eyes. I'm going to put up a couple of vintage sports cards to block the view of what you can see. Got a Johnny Unitas uh, from 73 and a Wyatt Tittle from 65. So you can't see, right? Now I'm going to play all four guitars, bridge pickups, but you can't see which one I'm playing, okay? All right, here we go. Here's an exhibit A, okay? same lick on all four guitars one more time okay and you tell me which one it is okay
close to the same way. Maybe not exact. Okay, and the third one, exhibit C. guitars in the same order acoustically okay so here we go acoustic Larry here we go Okay, exhibit A. Here's exhibit B. Here's exhibit C. Okay, and here's exhibit D. Okay. Now, you guys tell me what you think, okay? And if you like this video, maybe we'll do neck pickups too, okay? Uh, let me close out with some hot VCB, okay? Just so we can, you know, uh, have a few laughs maybe. I like having a few laughs. Um, one guy said, uh, well, this, this has been a hot topic here. One guy said... Hi, Tom. I love your videos. Get great info and enjoyment from them. But as a recovering alcoholic, could you possibly not put beer up on your posts? I don't mean to offend or be picky. Just would help me a bit. I know drink is part of rock and roll lifestyle. I've been there big time, but maybe it's just a thought. Thanks, John. Um, you know, John, I'll consider it, but no promises, my friend. There's no promises here, but I'll consider it, okay? Let me just think about it. I'll think about it for a minute. Let me think a little longer. Let me just think a little longer. No, I'm no, I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on from that. Uh, one guy said something quite interesting. I, I was gonna, let me see if I can find this. Um, uh, this is worth pointing out because I think we got something to learn here. A guy said, uh, oh, let me find this. I promise it's worth it. Hang on. I hate, I should have had this ready for you. I apologize. I learned a lot about fishing today. Uh, the guy that, that took us out, Brian, is an expert. My God, he knows so much about fishing. I learned what a, what a shad is and I learned what a jig is and all this fun stuff. 
uh, one guy said, okay, you're going to jet me, but the studio, stu the studio stuff sounds out of tune to me at the beginning. Just weird and not like in a Bowie way. Also, by the way, you're the best guitar player in the world. Thank you so much, dude. And I wrote back to him. I said, uh, it is out of tune, bro. It was just a scratch vocal to help us guide through the song. It takes some minutes to get the stuff dialed in. See, that's the thing. Now, if you guys just want me to play you finished products only, I can I can do that. I figured that you might want to see what it's really like in the studio while the shit is happening. See, records don't just miraculously happen. And they don't amazingly, they don't come together in two seconds it takes time you got to work on things i mean every once in a while stuff will happen very quickly but most of the time uh hey john how you doing john what's up it takes a minute see like nick you know nick was in there playing bass singing it's hard to do all that stuff we got a scratch vocal sure it's a little out of tune you, we hear that we know that's that's going on bro you don't have to tell us we know so you know, we're going to re-sing it until we get it right. Maybe, you know, tune it up a little bit. Whatever it takes to make it right. But I promise you, by the time you put it on your speakers, you'll go, okay, sounds good. But if you guys just want me to show you the finished products only so you don't have to hear anything out of tune, just let me know because I can do that too. Um, what else here? Uh, Holy Hellfire, that 59 Black Beauty is indeed a magic stick. Man, I'm telling you, that guitar... See... It's not just what it sounds like. It's, like I said last night, it's like what it makes you do. See, I, I, I told you before, the guitar plays me. I, when I was beginning and starting out in intermediate, I played the guitar. But when I reached a certain point, I don't know when it was or how long ago it was, but I didn't even know this was the goal. But I got to the point where the guitar plays me. Um... Hand me a good instrument. I don't care what it's an acoustic or, or an electric or whatever. I'm going to let it tell me what it wants to do. That's what I do. That's what most guitar players who I know who are lifer players do. You know, you, you hand a guitar to Jed Hughes. He hand, he immediately finds the sweet spot. It's like he has this sort of telepathic connection. You, know, you hand him an acoustic and he goes, fishes around for a second. Oh, here's the sweet spot. He just finds it. I try to do the same thing. I mean, that's what you do when you... Everything, every... If you, if you just play the same shit and force that into every guitar, that's not guitar playing, people. Um, the reason we have these different instruments is because they drive us and they guide us in different directions. And that's what that's what I call the inspiration factor. Uh, I think I'm going to hang up now because if I exceed 20 minutes, it'll take forever to upload. Um... We'll get into more. If you guys want to hear the neck pickup shootout, let me know. All right. Happy Sunday. Out here on the lovely Percy Priest Lake and uh, doing a little fishing with my dear friend Brian and my son Marshall. And Marshall is catching some fish here. Good job, Marshall. He's catching some shad. There you go. Yeah, I got Marshall, that's not really a kitchen fish in here. Put this thing in the bait. Bait over. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna, we got what, six lines in the water, seven? Yeah, yeah and uh, we're gonna catch a hybrid, right, Marsh? Bass. And uh, Mommy said if you bring one home, she'll learn how to clean it. You gotta really have to.